My name is Michael Absalom, and these bunch of squares are my family and friends. Over the next eight months, they're going to try and help me make my childhood dream come true, as I attempt to land a role in the next Star Wars film as a stormtrooper. Okay, so I've got this really weird concept uh, where I, I basically want to try and get into a Star Wars movie. That's what I've always wanted to do. It's been my childhood dream. So this is me based in London right now. No access to anyone in Star Wars. What I really love about it is that Michael hasn't chosen a big part. Most people, you would think with his career, with his experience, with going to acting school, with being on TV for a long time. He may have slightly more lofty ambitions, but no, he just wants to be a stormtrooper. I just opted for a stormtrooper because they're quite neutral. You know, they're not a Jedi. They're not any of the key characters, but they just look so cool. I just always wanted to be one. And today I'm gonna to get my first opportunity to do that. Starting with buying the suit, we're gonna go meet a guy called Wayne who owns Jedi Robe, and he's gonna talk us through the whole process. I think everybody who loves Star Wars, everybody who's engaged with Star Wars, has found something in that film that they've put into real life. How long is it going to take, sort of roughly, if I'm going to have to get in and out and in and out? Oh, I think once you put it on a couple of times, your suit will go on and off within half an hour. I was brought up playing with these toys when I was seven or eight years old. I've got them all at home still. I remember his room was full of all the toys. His walls were covered with the posters. We hardly ever saw him. It was his life, all his battles going on. It's incredibly nostalgic. And there's a little stormtrooper just there. That's gonna be me. <laughs> My goal is to find JJ Abrams, track him down, ask him for a role in Star Wars movie, and then appear in the next one. So not The Force Awakens, but, but the one after that. Sure. How realistic do you reckon that is? And be honest, be honest. Sure. You may need to use a little bit of the Force. Like he's such a happy chap, and I can only imagine that when he got his hands on the Stormtrooper suit, I can just imagine he was absolutely delighted, wanted to wear it, sleep in it. Here is your instruction, oh, guys. It's about to rip it open. It's the start of our journey. Oh, wow. And here is all your Stormtrooper body. Let's do this thing. Wayne was so helpful. I couldn't believe it. He's just such a nice guy as well. What I loved was his passion for Star Wars, for Stormtroopers, for the project. And he couldn't have been more helpful. It makes a huge difference when you've got someone like that on your side. And I'm hoping everyone's going to be as supportive. Today was the day that Michael decided that he was going to put his Stormtrooper outfit on for the first time. It's the start of his journey. It's a pretty momentous occasion and I was honoured that I could be there for the part of that. I didn't really have a clue what was going on. My involvement was as a bit of a stooge. It was Christmas and birthdays all in one unwrapping that moment. You could see him itching with excitement to A, kind of get the outfit on, to B, start his journey. And he wants to get out there. I've never seen him so fired up about anything. So worked up and I'm just trying to get the helmet in for the first time. This, this journey could end right now. Channel. Oh no. He's brilliantly useless. He's the underdog. He's slightly delusional. But his character is just kind of infectious and you desperately hope he does achieve his goal. He'll be heartbroken should he not get there. Just think of Yoda. I'm going for a quick wee because I could be in that for a long time. Eight months. And I do worry about him when I'm not there at the best of times, what he's going to do, because he kind of needs to be guided a little bit. You can see him putting the chest plate on back to front and getting bits the wrong way around. And he was trying to put the arm bits on his legs and I'm sure he'll get better at it. So far, we've only got the shins on and it kills. I'm a bit worried my calves are too big because I play a lot of hockey. That's an arm. That's why it's tight. <laughs> So they were tying on my legs because we were actually using um, arms for legs. Yes, yeah, so I've got massive cars more than normal humans. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. So my job to address Stormtrooper 1003, I think I did quite well, but it was my first time and I too am trying to hone my skills and by the end of this journey, maybe I will have it down to three or four minutes. You know, this is the dream, this is my dream. It's gonna be a real challenge of sort of getting out there and trying to impress JJ. I've got to look my best. And like you can see, it's not the easy. Oh! Here's a guy who is 
hell-bent on taking part in some small way in that next movie. And whatever he has to do to convince JJ that he's the guy, he's going to do it. Just a super guy to be around. He raises happiness and madness at the same time. He's got a lot of energy. He keeps late hours. <laughs> he's got much more energy than his grandmother and he keeps me going. And this is my first look at myself in the mirror. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> feels powerful, he feels as if he's part of the film now. He's a Star Wars actor and he loves the gun. He thinks he's a bit too much of a lad at the moment. There's a bit of a strut where you think we're going on with your Stormtrooper outfit. Lift up your heels. Yeah, it's coming now, it's coming. Yeah, that's better, that's really good Stormtrooper. Yeah. He could be anybody underneath that suit, of course. I must say, he's always made me laugh and he continues to do so. He's just on the right side of, of crazy, if that's possible. You know, I think he could be mad. I mean, I know he's mad some days. Other days, I think he's just really amusing. If you have a goal and if you have a dream, you have to follow it. There'll be obstacles, of course there'll be obstacles, but if you really feel strongly about it, you will overcome those. What a fun afternoon, getting into the suit for the first time. Once you get into the suit, you're a completely different person. You can sort of throw any inhibitions you've got aside. Interacting with the public, everyone enjoying themselves, that's what life's about. And Star Wars is huge globally. And when you see a stormtrooper out of place walking around Victoria Station, for instance, the level of excitement that comes with that was fantastic, it was amazing. I think the message he's trying to get across is live your dream achieve your dreams and for any aspiring professional if you've got a childhood dream if you've got something that you really want to do this is really working example of fulfilling that so yeah go for it absolutely pumped about going to anaheim top of the bill has to be try and track down jj abrams coming to officially open star wars celebration we get an opportunity to ask jj for a role in star wars as a stormtrooper we've got to take that and outside of that it's just about chatting to as many fans as possible next stop hollywood Trusty lightsaber. <laughs> Good stormtrooper, he will make. I can see this as fade down, fade up again, still, still <laughs> tinkering. I need a poo. Yes. What do I do? Um, back to the green room. Yeah. Suit off. Yeah. Give yourself a 15 minute break. Oh man. And I got a, just a feeling that on this particular trip, not everything's going to go to plan. Key example, wrong lane. <laughs> oh man, I think we're on the right road. <laughs>